Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Camilla and you're watching Camilla's Yoga. So good morning. This is a morning photo class intended for the moment you wake up. So you wake up, jump out of bed, hop into your favourite clothes and jump on your mats. Today we're going to start in child's pose, so come with your toes together, your knees wide and fold forward. We're starting here and we are connecting to your breath. We are connecting to the present moment and the best way to do that is tuning inwards and just drawing awareness and attention towards the breath. Notice how your shoulders relax, notice how your arms relax and are heavy, and notice how your entire body is sinking deeper and deeper into the floor. Feel where in the body the breath is situated and where you feel it the strongest right now and then see if you can deepen your breath deepen every inhale and making every exhale last a little bit longer And then slowly look up, move your way all the way up to all fours and just start to inhale, arching and exhale, curving the spine. Inhale, arch, looking up, shoulders back and exhale, rounding the spine, drawing the tailbone under. Inhale, arching, lifting the chest. And exhale, round, spreading the fingers wide, knees right underneath your hips, inhale, coming back up, and exhale, and one last time, pressing firmly into the floor, and exhale, pressing firmly into the floor, coming down, tucking the toes under, and coming back into your first down facing dog, starting to walk the dog here, engaging the shoulders, closing your eyes if you feel like it, and really pressing into the palm of your hand. Coming back to your breath and just noticing how it feels to wake up your body. And then you inhale, lifting the right leg, bending the knee, drawing the knee to your nose and placing the entire shin on the floor, extending the back leg. Exhale. Inhale, lifting up the upper body and exhale, folding forward. Inhale, one more time, rolling up here and exhale, extending the chest forward, coming down. Inhaling back up, last one, exhale, coming forward and stay here, changing the placement of your arms wherever you need to have them in order to get comfortable and just finding your variation of this pose, making sure that your hips are parallel to the floor so don't sit onto the right sit bone here. Lowering the shoulders away from the ears to the best of your ability and your right heel is in line with your left hip. Just finding stillness, we are waking the body up. Be gentle, be kind, both to the physical body but also mentally. Notice your thought patterns, notice 
what you're telling yourself about this morning, about your efforts, about your intentions, and see if you can alter it to make your day as best as it possibly can be. And then shoulder, hands underneath the shoulders, tuck in the back side under, and exhale, coming back into your downward facing dog, reaching the shoulders here, straight line between the wrist and the tailbone. You're welcome to continue to walk the dog. If you're walking it, see if you can avoid walking with your upper body. So make sure that your upper body is firm and that it's your legs that is walking this dog here. And then inhale, left leg comes up, left knee to nose, placing the shin down, extending the back leg and exhale. Inhale, lifting the chest, exhale, going forward. Inhale, rolling up, exhale, coming forward, last time. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, coming up, exhale, coming forward. Finding your position, that place that you are comfortable, making sure your hips are squared. If you need a little bit more opening in the hips, you're welcome to move your left foot away from the right hip, making sure that your right hip is not moving so you're not sitting down. If this is already intense for your left hip and your left thigh here, you just stay. And remember, we're always more stiff in the morning, so be kind to yourself. This is supposed to be gentle, it's supposed to be a nice gift for yourself and your body. So be kind, be nice. And finding the breath here, taking those deep inhales and exhales. Welcome to close your eyes if you feel like it. And then hands underneath the shoulders once again, tucking the back toe under and coming back into your downward facing dog. And here, inhale, roll through the spine like a wave. Then exhale, bending the knees. Arching the spine, leaning with the tailbone coming back. So, inhale, we roll forward, high plank, bending the knees, arching the spine. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, rolling, rolling forward. Exhale, rolling back. Inhale, one more time, kneeling, lead with the tailbone coming back. One last time, looking towards your navel on your way forward, looking forward on your way back. That's it. Finding your breath here once again. Five breaths in your downward facing dog. You're welcome to keep it still or you're welcome to walk it. Looking forward, stepping your feet front, inhale, halfway lift, flat back, exhale, bending the knees, folding forward here, and then leaving the right hand on the floor or on a block, straightening that left leg as your left arm extends towards the sky. Inhale, arm comes down, bending or straightening both legs, and exhale, opposite side. Inhale, coming down. Exhale, opening up. Continuing here. Inhale. So the arm that comes up to the sky, that's the straight leg. And yeah, so the same side. And then after you start, 
opening up more and more in your body, you can start to straighten the legs as you come down with the arms. Maybe eventually you no longer need the block. Really make it fluid. It's a combination of breath movement. So find this flow here. And then hands come down, bending the knees. Inhale, roll up through the spine, hands to the ceiling. Looking up and exhale, hands in front of the heart. Inhaling once and exhale, opening up the palms. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, walking back to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg left, spending the knee. Exhale, right leg between the hands, bending the left knee to the ground. Inhale, arms rise, and exhale, hands come down and we sink into this hip here. So your front knee is right over that back, you know, that front ankle, hands come to your back, elbows and shoulders roll back. And we're opening up the left hip. Closing your eyes if you feel like it. Remember we're just waking up being kind of gentle to the body. And then next, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hand down. Tucking the back toes under, and coming back into your plane. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Bending the knee, exhale, left leg front, back knee down. Inhale, arms raise, and exhale, hands down. Finding your breath here, hands come to the back, rolling the shoulder back, elbows draw together, and the front knee is right over the front ankle, really dropping into this front hip, the back hip here. Finding your breath, finding your flow here, and then inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, back to your plank. Exhale, down. Inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing dog. And then finding your breath here for five breaths. And five. Inhale. Right leg lifts, bending the knee, right leg forward, and from between the hands, inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, interlacing the fingers, rolling the shoulders back, and exhale, upper body comes down. Now, if this is too much for you, you're welcome to hold on to your elbows or simply move your hands down to the ground. 
Otherwise, we stay here, seeing if our back heel can come right over those back toes, drawing the navel in, finding strength through our front heel, and then inhale, hands down to the bum, left hand down, and exhale, right hand to the sky, final twist. Inhale, right hand down, exhale, plank. Inhale here and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths here. Notice if you feel any different in your uh, left and your right side. It, we aim for a balance between the left and the right yoga. Very often, we are not quite there yet. So, observe your body. How does it feel? Inhale, left leg up, and then we exhale, foot forward. Inhale, hands lift. Exhale, arms come down. Inhale, interlacing, rolling the shoulders back. Exhale, hands to the sky. Now remember your options here. Pull it onto the elbows, or hands down to the floor. But making sure no matter where you are, you are pressing into the front heel, and the back heel is right over those back toes. So don't fall in here, you're gonna ruin your ankle. Really come up, finding height, finding that straight back leg, open up the shoulders. Inhale, hands down, releasing the hands. And exhale, left arm to the sky. Arms are unwind here. And then inhale, hand down. Exhale, plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing. Now, if you are unsure how to properly execute, how to properly execute these uh, flows from plank all the way to your downward facing, I have a separate video for you to look at at another time. And then looking forward, walking the feet front, bending the knee, the knees, and then rolling back onto your back here, tucking the knees and giving yourself a bit of a hop. And extending the arms out to the side here like a T. Inhale and exhale, knees to the right. Okay towards your left and you're welcome to place your right hand on top of your left knee just finding your back making sure both your shoulders are firmly placed on the floor so you don't want your left shoulder to rise we're going to use to twist you want your left shoulder down on the ground, but the other seeing these up here. I'm placing maybe something underneath your knees or between your knees, then lifting the shoulder because we want this twist. And then inhale, coming back to your center, and exhale down to the opposite side. And you may also feel a difference between the left and the right side in this position. That's perfectly normal. Because we will remember to work both sides and eventually we will create a greater balance through the practice. Find your breath, closing your eyes. And then inhale. Coming back to center and exhale, extending the legs down. And on the downward side, coming into Shavasana. 
So this is the most important part, I think. Many teachers with me, so stay here for a few minutes with me. On your back, closing your eyes, palms facing the ceiling. Now, notice how you are feeling. How are you right now? You observe your breath. And then find your intention for today. So this is a morning clock. And what we create at this point have an impact on the rest of our day. So make a choice. What would you like to feel, to think, to experience today? How would you like to face your job, your family, your expectations, your tasks, your responsibilities, and most importantly, how would you like to face yourself? And ask yourself if there's anything missing in your life. And then ask yourself if you yourself can fill this void. Or if it's absolutely necessary for this void to be filled. Drawing your awareness once again back to your breath and just observing your breath as it rises and falls. Every inhale is cold and fresh at your nostrils, and every exhale is warm. Noticing how the breath starts at the bottom of the belly. And travels through your entire upper body to the top of your chest. It expands the ribcage and blows up your shoulder blades before it slowly empties out and comes back to the beginning. And then from here, start to wiggle with your wrist and your toes. Draw your knees into your chest when you feel like spine. And perhaps you would like to reaffirm your intention for today. Tell it to yourself in the present, in the present tense. So I am, I do. I can. Falling over to the right side of your body. Keeping your eyes closed, finding a comfortable position before you meet. Seated on our laps. Finding a comfortable position. Hands in front of the heart center. Inhaling once. Exhale slowly. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I wish you a wonderful day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me so much. And before you rush on to all your responsibilities for today, please hit that subscribe button and support my journey as a yoga teacher. Thank you.